So after 2,000 hours of usage, your LG OLED is going to ask you to do a one hour long pixel cleaning. This is a 48 inch LG C1. And before doing that one hour long pixel cleaning, I recorded a video showing you the screen uniformity of my LG C1 and it was very good, but it was not perfect. So I am curious to see if there is any difference now, if it is now absolutely perfect, okay? So of course, that's almost impossible. There is always some screen uniformity issues, especially with the bigger uh, sizes, okay? But let's see if there is any difference. I'm gonna have in the description of this video a link to that first video before the pixel cleaning. And so we can compare if there is any difference. And of course, I'm gonna tell you if I see any difference now. This is 2000 hours of full blast gaming, okay? <laughs> I play the games with a maximum brightness. You know, all the tweakings I do on the service menu, disabling all the dimming. So this is heavy, heavy usage. And I have no burning, so I'm not expecting to see burning after the pixel cleaning. So to do this test, I'm going to be using this YouTube video, which I'm going to have in the description of this video. It's basically just some great slides. And we are starting with, uh, with zero. So this is perfect black. I'm also going to show you the settings I'm using on the video. Let me get manual control over the ISO. So this is perfect black. Let's play the video. Okay, so we are at 0% RGB. So no light whatsoever. This is supposed to be perfect black. Now let's see 1%. So I'm going to change the camera settings. So you can see that. I don't see any issues. So now I can clearly see it on the recording. You see this vertical line in the middle of the screen. And I was able to see that before the pixel cleaning. And right now, it is worse, if anything. Let me see it in front of me. I'm not looking at the recording. So in front of me, it is visible too, but it is less visible than on the recording. But it definitely, it didn't improve. Absolutely. There's no improvement after the pixel cleaning. So I guess that there's no way to fix that. A slight, you know, uniformity issue and if anything I, I think it is worse than it was before because I was clearly able to see it uh, in front of me before I think it was not visible at all but I mean it is a very very small difference I cannot say that the pixel cleaning uh, make the TV worse or anything like that but I'm not able to see a clear difference but I'm gonna go back and watch that video and compare them and see if it was better but from what I can remember I was not able to see it in front of me and now I think I was able to see it better so yeah this 35% that's not gonna be that's not gonna be a problem so let me show you the settings I'm using on the TV and then I'm going to run this again with max out brightness just to see if there is any difference. And I did the same on the previous video. So let me show you the settings I'm using right now. You see? So I'm gonna change this to gamma 2.2 and I am going to max out the brightness all the way up. And I'm going to repeat again, starting from the beginning. Okay, 0%, let's see. 0%. So this is perfect black. This is a reflection on the window. Okay. I can clearly see that on the recording. In front of me, I cannot see it. Yeah, I can, I can see it. Man. I'm telling you, if anything, I think it is a little bit worse. But maybe... It was my eyes maybe that day, but I'm going to compare the videos. I'm going to compare the videos because I am not sure if it is worse, but I can see the defect. 
Right now I can see the defect. So before, when I recorded that first video, I wasn't able to see it in front of me. I, the recording was picking up the problem, but in front of me it was a lot more difficult to see. And also the other thing that I complained before was that the borders of the screen were looking a little bit red all the borders of the screen, the entire screen, I'm talking about the entire screen, the borders were looking a little bit red. And I still see that issue. Uh, I mean, it's not an issue, but I still see it, definitely. So let me go back again. And now, instead of looking at the recording, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to look at the TV. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. I can clearly see it now. I was not able to see this in front of me like this first day, especially this. So 1%, I can see it. I can see it in front of me. And the recording is picking that up even more. 5%. It is less visible. I can see it at 10%. I can see the issue. Again, all TVs have a little, all the OLEDs have a little bit of this. You can win the panel lottery and get a better panel. And I think mine is very good. But just my impression from yesterday was like i i cannot see it in, in front of me maybe my eyes were tired or something but i was not able to see the defects as well as right now i can see it now i see one two three four five six i, I see a lot more I, I was not able to see that i see that the left corner is darker i was not able to see this imperfection yesterday I'm telling you, let's see, 1% again. This 1% yesterday was almost perfect. Now, the left corner is a lot darker, and I start to see one, two, three, four, five, you know, different bands that I see. Now, at 5% is a lot better, but I still see the center band, and, but it's a lot better. It is a lot better. Now I can see the center band. Yeah, but man, yesterday it was better, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and watch that video. And the camera was is able to pick this difference a lot more than in front of me. But I'm really surprised. I was expecting the same, like no difference, but I was not expecting to see the issue more clear now than before the pixel cleaning. And to be honest, the only reason why I did the pixel cleaning was because I wanted to record a before and after video and see if there is any difference so I can have an opinion on that. But I would go to a service menu and not do it, basically. Like after 2000 hours of usage, the way I use the TV, I don't think this pixel cleaning was necessary. And I don't see any improvements and I can change I can change that on the service menu um, I know where to change that not that I recommend it I recommend everyone to do this just because it is set up by default to prevent burning but my panel was perfect and I don't see an improvement right now I see it, it actually looks worse so yeah, let me know what is your experience with this pixel cleaning I've seen a lot of people saying that it is very good it is actually something positive and some people have you know out of the box the screen uniformity is very bad and then they run the pixel cleaning and it improves a lot and some people commented that commented that even considering you know in returning the TV they do the pixel cleaning before and it improves a lot. So I was expecting at least the same, but no worse. I was not definitely not expecting this to be worse. 
but it is not a big deal it's not a big deal but man I don't know I was not seeing that yesterday <laughs> I'm telling you this 1% like this I'm definitely gonna go back and watch the video I was not able to see this yesterday I was not able to see this so we have here perfect black let me increase the perfect black so on the recording you can clearly see it but you see one two three four five different lines I'm gonna look go back and watch the recording I was only able to see one on the recording and now one two three four you see it is darker on the left side it's a big 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 difference and I'm using the same settings 3200 on the on the ISO for this uh, you know for the first for the lower end of the grayscale I'm using the maximum manual ISO and now I just just lower it to 800 so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions what's your experience with this pixel cleaning um, again I recommend you to do it because it is it is there for a reason to prevent burning and all of that but I don't see the improvement and I it looks worse to me one two three four five six seven see one two three four and this is darker over here I think it was better yesterday man I think it was maybe this is what I think it might happen I'm going to do this test after the day ends today so I'm gonna use the TV and then at the end of the day I'm going to do the test again because maybe what happens is that yesterday I did this test after the TV was warm you know the TV was warmer so maybe after you use the TV you know for two hours one hour two hour and the panel is warmer maybe the performance is uh, better and the screen uniformity uh, issues are less noticeable so maybe the pixel cleaning didn't change anything and the difference that I see it is just that the TV right now it is not warm it hasn't warmed up maybe that's what it is so if you know better let me know if you know that's the issue or if you have more experience with this let me know um, so yeah, 